Should we be? No, we don't hug. No, 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 but no. Like, so awkward. So unprofessional. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are married to each other. So we are in the Don Mills area in Toronto. Our client Hayes reached out to us um, late spring about wanting to transform her backyard. She is a professional and really wanted to elevate the outdoor space in her home. I had previously worked with her, so I sort of had obviously a sense of her aesthetic. For an urban yard, it's quite spacious. I mean, it's also representative of the area that we're in. So Don Mills particularly, Pete pointed this out, is Canada's first subdivision. Yeah, I think it's, I, I might be wrong, but it's like Canada's first sort of planned suburban community. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So at the time, you're not looking, you know, this isn't the 80s or the 90s or even the 70s. This is going back even further. So people are used to a little bit of space. It's a wide home, it's a wide lot, and so the backyard, you know, goes fairly deep mm -hmm. as well, too. So yeah, I mean, there's definitely quite a bit of space to play with. I first actually saw the space, I would say a year ago, and the space was kind of overgrown. It was sort of like jungle-like, yeah, I, I guess, would, would you say that? Yeah, unkept. I mean, it wasn't <laughs> a nightmare, but you had random fruit trees, you had a lot of low-growing sort of shrubs, and open, too, so there was no fencing or anything like that. You know, in this kind of environment with all the trees, the grass just wasn't thriving. It wasn't adding anything to the space, Not right? adding, yeah, not adding anything and not having a good time back here, quite <laughs> frankly. Like grass not having a great yeah, time. Yeah. So let's let grass leave. Yeah. Um, might be part of what we do, right? Well, if you're not having a good time, make it stay there. Let the grass leave. So I brought Pete into the project. Uh, we're partners together in our business and Pete's specialty really is exterior and landscape design. Hayes is super busy, wants a space that's relaxing, that looks great. Um, but low maintenance Low too. maintenance, yeah. absolutely low maintenance. So that was really sort of the marching orders for us. Taking a look at the space that we have here with, you know, we've got some wonderful cedars. So trying to bring in some plant life that worked well with that and put that on showcase while at the same time, you know, allowed for a lot of, um, you know, open area to sort of let the calm sink in as well too and not be too much of an assault on the client's senses and letting them sort of come in and relax. One of the first things that we tackled was actually addressing the deck. Mm. So the deck was just, you know, the standard sort of builder, pressure treated wood, kind of was looking a little worn. So we decided to get the deck stained and it's a black caviar kind of stain. It will last pretty well through the next couple of years without any yep. sort of intense maintenance. That set the tone, this black monolithic kind of block here. And you know, from there it was like extending those straight lines, if you will, and looking at some of the pavers here, bringing in that simplicity in those straight lines, and then looking for how we could contrast that as well. We brought in this pea gravel here, so that softened things up, brought another texture in there. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, rather soothing and calm, even nice underfoot in the sound of like walking through that, but something that provided interest, mm -hmm. I would say, while preserving that new Neutral California calm vibe, I mm -hmm, guess. Mm -hmm. Is that a good way to put it? No, that's a great yeah. way to put it. The furniture is actually from Crate and Barrel, their outdoor line. It's actually great. It's very sturdy and very hard wearing. And we were careful to not overstuff the space. We've also incorporated two umbrellas as well, which sort of provide that little canopy, if you will, over the seating areas. And then the other seating space or entertaining space that she wanted was something that she could enjoy kind of three season, I guess, which is behind us. And it's the fire pit table. Table. We've got a fireplace table there. The cover goes on top. Suddenly, it's just a great retreat. Table. Yeah. It's just another view in the yard. It's a different place to set yourself in a different setting. Works quite well. And then the other spot that we included was just a quick sort of grilling area. Nothing super crazy, just, you know, a barbecue. Enough, again, just to have a couple of people over, you know, just kept it really simple. She also requested a small herb garden. So, um, actually, in front of us on the other side is literally just a tall planter with a whole bunch of her favorite herbs um, that she can sort of pluck out anytime she wants to drill into them. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the plantings that we have here really fall uh, perfectly into the client's ask. I think when it comes to low maintenance, works really well in the environment and reflected a palette that was, again, fairly calming, neutral, lots of greens, some, you know, uh, variegation as far as leaves go, and then whites and, and some subtle purples there. And, and, you know, we wanted to ensure also that there was something engaging the senses, you know, specifically visually all year round. You know, as with any brand new garden, you have- This is an important disclaimer, actually. Well, I mean, I, I think <laughs> if you get the right plants from the beginning and you plan out well, you can certainly save yourself some money and mm -hmm. getting plants that are naturally going to work within the environment that you have. So mm -hmm. a little bit of homework, but you know, you see these trucks pull up with all these plants or even when someone buys all this planting for themselves and they open up their trunk or look into their hatch and like, oh my God, look at my garden. And then you plant it all and it's like, where is it? It it's, takes time. It, there's nothing more, I think, more underwhelming than the once everything's been planted. Your gar it's just like everything is just kind of flat, uh, you know, unless you're bringing in full size everything. So it hasn't grown yet. You know, you're planning for that thing to stay there forever. So it takes time to fill in. And making that room and creating that space is not the sexiest thing at the beginning, but done well uh, and done thoughtfully, what you end up having is a garden that lives for a very long time and grows really well together and doesn't overwhelm other plants and just, just ends up looking really good. It just takes a little patience. Hayes is beyond thrilled. I mean, she actually uses the space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. which is like how much more you know, happy can you be about anything is like, you know, they're actually using, enjoying the space. And, and her neighbors tried to come and steal some of the ideas as well too. So. <laughs> There's nothing that? like unpaid work. <laughs> <laughs>